Hi all, it's Wise Angel here. I'm not spilling tea, so I'll move the tea cards out of the way. Um, but I have been in my favourite little um, physical shop. It's called Crystal Moon Emporium. You may have seen my little advert for them. I have put that link in my community chat. And I have bought us some new cards, which you'll see in an outing on Sunday. They're called the Goddess Dream Oracle. And I will show you briefly. They are by Wendy Andrew. But she also has an app as well. But the app won't be getting used. I bought myself a little Jasper um you can see a little Jasper incense holder. It's a rough Jasper and it brings prosperity into the household. So I'm got you may see a lot of that or you may not see a lot of it in the coming weeks. I'm just going to leave that to the top of the table so you may see some of the smoke wafting. But you can see the cards are absolutely stunning. And if you can hear banging in the background, this is coming from two doors up. Um, they're not getting any work done, they're just being annoying. And they forget that we live in a terrace. So we'll explore these on Sunday afternoon. And I've got myself this. The past, present, future, the tarot, the fortune teller, crystal ball gazing and tarot cards. I thought it was just a little bit of a gimmick for the channel. So I'll put that out of one side. And this recording was all about the banking saga that's going on in England at the moment. Um, I put this set up. Milo, Milo wants to go at the back because it's nice and warm, but I won't let them out because I think that's why one of the neighbours is uh, banging around because he's been at the back and they think he's the only dog around here. That box. He does get annoying. He annoys the heck out of me when he's barking. But see, there he is knocking at the door to go out, but I'm not letting him out. I was going to use another deck of tarot. He's chasing the what be around the house that's got in because he's had the door open. So this is Sainsbury's Bank and the NatWest merging. So it's nothing sinister, it's probably a good business decision. So I just want to know what it means for the customers. I've just seen the headline, nothing else. So I'm not going to look until we've read the cards on the situation. Okay, cards, give me a little... Oh, I'll put those back because I haven't shuffled properly. Give me a little bit of a background on the story behind the two banks merging. So I noticed a few weeks ago, the last time I went to a Sainsbury's ATM, that something was up because they had switched from being their own bank servicing those machines to the NatWest.
so right strength and chaos where the, the need that they do it otherwise they would have gone under business decision they had to make it right we'll start with the helmet okay so the helmet was saying in order for them to move forward out of the chaos that they'd found themselves in they had to find a little bit of spiritual enlightenment the bankers and these bankers had to really work on themselves and work on the banks work really work on this merger because we have the strength card so there was somebody really there passionate about saving the Sainsbury's bank because they grew too big too quickly and the five of wands found them in chaos so somebody within the bank within Sainsbury's bank thought we're going to insurance we're going to pet insurance we're going to life insurance we're going to house insurance but it wasn't paying off because they've all leveled off all of these insurances have leveled off and it's now costing them more to keep those life insurances and those car insurances going yes they were passionate about it and they were strong they were in a strong position but we're in the middle midst of a financial crisis we're in the midst of a cost of living crisis so people can't afford to have a lot of these insurances right now so they haven't the uh, rob peter to pay paul as the saying goes and the empress is saying look in order to have a rebirth a renewal of fi financial situations within the bank you must to move forward you need to merge and that will relieve the anxiety so the big wigs at the top are saying in order to succeed which is that they are they've got the sun here as well another major arcana so they've got basically three in a row here in order to succeed and gain some satisfaction this year's cups is saying well yes merger but we need to look after the customers as well we need to give them some gain so these decisions that they have made has got to be for the benefit of the customers and not for the benefit of the financial institutions themselves so yes that mean yes the lovers card comes in here but it means the two organizations working in tandem so they're working together to solve the financial crisis that Sainsbury's have found themselves in so there'll be a the period of um, stability, stillness, is the hanged man saying. So there you are. We have what another another four of the no sorry yeah no no another three of the major arcanas along this top line as well, and we kicked off with a major arcana and the hermit the hermit, and the hanged man is saying look, we just need time to breathe time to stand still and reflect on what's been going on yes we have this financial crisis but things will ease off we're restricted just as you look across his nose here and across his mouth he's restricted in his breathing he's restricted with his nose and his mouth and he says we've kept quiet for long enough but now, Sainsbury's is in a 
with the King of Pentacles here, with the CEO now, he's seeing the success and he's seeing that the insecurity in a state of security. So moving forward with the Ten of Cups, so this around October, everything will be um, mainly settled. There'll be a bit more financial stability. There could be some compensatory uh, finance, financial compensatory for customers of both banks. I'm not promising anything, but there could be. So the customers have all been stuck in the middle of all of these shenanigans. Where they've been going on, Milo, Milo. Shh, shh, shh. So the customers. Customers have been stuck in the middle of all of this. As I said, the customers have been stuck in the middle of all of this, and the customers did not know they were stuck in the middle of a big, big takeover. They didn't know what was brewing. But the devil has come in with this major arcana card. He's going over the top here, and he's saying, Look, um, I've tempted Sainsbury's. I've given Sainsbury's a temptation. They are now taking this temptation. And with the Seven of Swords, they have been deceiving their customers for quite a while. They haven't been telling them that their growth has been stagnant. They haven't been telling them that they haven't been telling them anything because again we've got the double hermit out here that it's been in solitude they have been keeping their fingers on their lips again we've got the hanged man out again telling them that they needed to pause and be quiet so they have done basically that they've paused and been quiet but the knight of swords says look it was all about your money motivation you needed to trust in others to help you out but you have caused a lot of drama along the way with the knight of swords and then the moon came out and it said look you've been unconsciously putting your customers in a pickle whether you like to like it or not and the two of one says look decisions are yours you've had to make these decisions and the force of nature was the NatWest Bank. They have come in riding on their horse and says, look, the fool and their money is soon parted. And they've got that wolf, but the, the wolf is at the door there. Milo, come here. The wolf has been at the door for some time of Sainsbury's Bank. And they've needed that fresh start. So the fresh start is coming at some speed with the eight of wands. And they're collaborating now for that change. And I'm going to leave it at that now. And take away all of that chi, all of that energy. So we can move on to something else with Milo. I'm just going to give you some energy there. And I'm going to leave you with the love of spirit and the light of the archangels and my spirit guides and I'm going to tell you that Sunday when we work with our new cards the goddess is doing oracle you're in for a you're in for a good you're in for a good read okay and I am aware that I do need to have a look at who I need to read for because we sadly ran out of time for the two hours slot. I do allow myself two hours because it does get painful for me to sit around with the medical conditions. But I try my best for you. And once I get my desk, finally get my desk up, I'll be able to stand as well for a little while but as i say these cards are absolutely stunning
and every time I go into that shop, I come out with crystals of some kind. And I better let that dog out. I'll just pause you for a moment. Okay, so this is a right. I'm just letting the smoke and the crystals do their work. Just cleanse these cards, and that's it. That's me doing the end. So I'm going to love you and leave you, and I'm going to end edit this, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you all. Bye bye. Thank you.